Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today, day number eight. And in today's video, I'm quickly going to show you how you can create a easy countdown. So I'm going to press play here and you can see that the countdown starts counting down. Um, according to the actual time. So it's perfectly counting down the hours, one hour, two minutes, six, five, four seconds. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can do this is opening a new composition. Go to create a text layer. Let's type countdown, cone it, cone it down. That's also fine, doesn't really matter. In the middle here. And I'm going to um, add a slider effect to it. So go to effect, expression controls, slider control because this number is going to be the number of seconds the countdown is lasting. And then I'm going to open this up, go to text and then source text. I'm going to add an expression to that. I'm going to copy it from here. So it is right there, countdown. Here is my source text um, expression. And you know, I am not the biggest expression coding guy, so I know that this works. I kind of know how it works, but I have to tell you that I'm I've gathered these expressions from friends and colleagues of mine over the years just in this document that I use. Um, I can't create ex expressions by myself. I don't know how to. I only can give them to you so you can use them. So I'm sorry about that. But this is this, this is the um, expression I do know a little bit, like the uh, slider is uh, this slider right here. And the math dot round rounds it out so it doesn't have like trillions of uh, decimals. And then here it's kind of... Uh, doing some math to create this. Uh, so here it says add zero, add zero minutes, add a second. So if I delete this part, it will only have the minutes. And if I delete, uh, if, I, if I turn it back up, turn it back, then I have the hours as well. So um, that's it for this expression. You can, of course, download this project file in the, the link down in the description below, and then you can copy this expression as well. And I'm just going to slide up this slider, and there you can see that it's counting up. So. Um, whatever this does, this is, is a, if I put this at 60, you will see that it has one minute. If I put it as 120, it was one, uh, two minutes, or 90 is one minute 30. And if I just drag this up, then I can create a lot of hours like this. So then it's kind of counting down. So if I put a random number in here, like, or not a random, let's just call it uh, 360, we have six minutes. And I go to my composition settings and go to make this duration of this composition one minute and or six minutes and 10 seconds. So I have a little bit of wiggle room at the end. So here and then at six minutes perfectly. So first off, create a keyframe, of course, here, click. And then at the six minute, six minute mark, where are you? Whoa, where are you? Here you are. So at six minutes, perfectly here, uh, put this at zero. So now it is counting down to zero. That's it. That's really easy. So here we have this text as well. It has um, two keyframes, one in the front here, and it has 3,735 uh, seconds, which uh, is uh, apparently one hour, two minutes and 15 seconds. So at one hour, two minutes and 50 second, 15 seconds here, or at 60 and 15 here, uh, we've got the um, uh, second keyframe. So then everything counts down perfectly like that. As you can see here, the text isn't like jumping around. And on this one, if I move it, the text is kind of jumping to le from left to right because when it changes numbers, some numbers are wider, some are not so wide. And to counter that, this is like a random, uh, the cam keyframe font I use. But if you don't want that to jump around, you can use a mono spaced font. This is called the Azeret Mono. It, you, I downloaded it from Google Fonts. Uh, and that's also always mono spaced, so there's never, they're all the same width. So that will um, counter out those, um, you know, the jumping around. And if I open it, if I press double press E on my keyboard, you can open the expression. And it says here, add a zero and then plus the colon. And then, so I can change this to um, like a minus, like a little stripe if you want. So then we got, we got this uh, look or uh, maybe this. So you can do whatever you want, of course. It does looks weird, but uh, this is best, I think. But you can change that. Uh, so that's the uh, really basic way to create a countdown. I've created some other really small little uh, animations here, which I will show you as a little bonus right now. So this camera is really easy. It's just um, this little position thing. Let's zoom in here. 
all the way. So its position is is uh, below here, then it goes up, and then it's going to below as well uh, again. And then it has this um, loop out expression on it very easily. And the shadow kind of, where is it? Where is the shadow? This one has the same thing, the scale. It scales down, scales up, loop out expression, and you're done. So that's that. That's really easy. And on this one, um, this coin is really easy as well. It's just the same idea. It's just uh, position from this side to the mid to, to the right side and then back again. And also rotate from the left to the right and to the left again and then loop out as well. So it's really easy. And then this is a cool little thing here at the bottom. You see this bar, which is actually following the countdown and perfectly ending at the last mark as well. So what I did there is I have this bar yellow, which is just a line. Just a line I created here. And if you open it up and go to content, you see it's trim paths effect. So we have trim paths and then just put the end, uh, beginning point at zero and uh, at the same place where your countdown stops the keyframe, put this at 100 and it just takes this whole way just to fill up. So you have this kind of loading bar. So that's a really easy thing to do. So that's how you can create this easy countdown. Okay, that wraps it up for day number eight. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.